the fuck is that guy? I make my own moves, yeah, I'm boss. All weak bitches, please proceed to the exit. Is there no one else? Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? We are not for the weak. What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of your favorite podcast. Yeah. The J and Mooney Show. Just kidding. The du- Double J. Double J. Slay all J. Slay all J. Well, that's pretty tight, actually. <laughs> Chrissy actually suggested that as our name. Slay really? As the name of the podcast. I was like, mm. do you think maybe Hair Flip should come up with a podcast? Hair Flip time. Hair Flip time. With Hair Flip gains. Slay. Slay the day with Hair Flip fitness. Gains. Now, I feel like you need to rhyme hair flip gains or hair flip fitness with slay the day. Slay the slay the. I'm not creative flip. enough for that shit. I don't know. <laughs> Kieran, th- Kieran was like, ha, 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 keep an eye out. <laughs> I knew that was going to fucking get him. What accent was that? No one's accent. You know we're live, right? Oh. We've been recording this whole time. What's going on, guys? <laughs> we already said what's going on. Welcome to the to me doing the intro to Not For The Week. Yeah? It's two times you're hearing the intro. Double intro. I feel like we should redo this. <laughs> I, I feel like this is live. This is... No, we don't redo. We're not editing. This is what we talk about. This is the stupid shit we talk about. Welcome to the Stupid Shit Podcast. I don't think people will subscribe to that. Mm, I would. Well, obviously, because you talk about stupid shit, I talk about stupid shit. So I would listen to it probably. Yeah. So I feel like. So I guess yeah. I feel like a majority of people will listen to a podcast called about stupid, stupid Shit. Stupid shit. They're like, hmm, I wonder what this is about, and then there's like, oh, literally stupid shit. Tie it. But yeah. that's not going to be a podcast. This is the only one. This is the stupid shit podcast. This is the stupid shit podcast. This is episode. This is a bonus episode. Bonus episode. Yeah. So bonus episode is stupid shit podcast. <laughs> Anyway, I feel like the caffeine's kicking in now. I feel like the caffeine I didn't drink is kicking in. It's just my infectious energy. Exactly. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. I infected you. That sounds disgusting. <laughs> anyway, what's going on, man? What's new and exciting? Well, oh, shit. <laughs> for those who follow me on uh, Instagram and Twitter, Which is and, nobody. and are my Facebook friends with me, uh, or have me on Snapchat. Fuck, I don't know. Uh, I am having a child. Yes. Mini J. A mini J or a mini Kaya is on the way. Straight from his testicles into the world. Yes. Straight from the... Well, actually, it had to make a stop in Kaya, but... That's... <laughs> that sounds... <laughs> Shout out Kaya for being the mother of my child. Uh, Shout out Kaya. Shout out Kaya again. Um, no, guys. Yeah, I'm going to be a... I'm going to be a pops... And uh, I've known for, we found out when my lady was four weeks and she's now 13 weeks on Saturday. She will be 14 weeks. Um, but when you guys listen to this episode, she will be 15 weeks on Saturday because we do it a week in advance. Yeah. But yes. Um, she's far along is what you're She's saying. far along. She's, get, she's getting there. We will find out the gender soon. Our next ultrasound, our ultrasound, our next ultrasound is a... Uh, in like a few weeks or so and so far the baby's very very healthy and has a great heartbeat and very wiggly we had an ultrasound at nine weeks He's and an uh, he is man hopefully if it's a guy we don't know well, but even uh girl, or even if it's a girl you want it to be an athlete right you want oh yeah boy, boy or girl you know kaya was an athlete in high school and then i, I was an athlete and I, I guess i'm not still an athlete but i train every day so yeah. But exciting stuff. Um, so yeah, and uh, got a lot of got a lot of you know support and love on uh, Instagram and just like all my platforms. And everyone's really excited. I'm really excited. I'm really nervous. It was cool uh, to see. It's cool to see all the support that you got. Yeah, it was great. Honestly, um, yeah, I was like, wow. Yeah. It was like I I did not expect. For some reason, I felt like everybody had already known. Well, it was pretty obvious. It was, I mean, if you hang out with yeah, you on yeah, a regular like you, basis or see you on a regular basis. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, you kind of know. But um, it was really cool. Ton, tons and tons and tons of support. 
and uh, everyone really has a lot of positive stuff to say and uh yeah i'm excited man um crazy how life works it is but uh it's just low-key kind of stressful yeah i can imagine yeah it is it, and you know kai's kai's really sick she throws up all the time and uh wakes up at like five o'clock in the morning to puke and then she like stays up for the rest of the day so she's and she's really like exhausted all the time you know she has another child inside her so she's she's supporting another life so it's uh it's rough man and uh huge shout out to her because uh i couldn't ever imagine what that would be like yeah no so carrying a child mm. i get upset when i have to like poop a lot <laughs> you know like like when you eat a lot of food and you're like feeling that inside of you so i can only <laughs> imagine what it's like to have a tr- like yeah, yeah a human well dude and you know uh <laughs> i have a feeling our kid's gonna be big as shit dude so. looking at you <laughs> I, that kid is gonna be fucking massive yeah dude well and kyle was a big ass baby dude kyle was 11 pounds she's an 11 pound baby i was a normal size baby i was like Eight pounds seven Define. ounces, twenty two really? ounces. Yeah, I was eight pounds seven ounces, twenty two inches long. The fuck happened? You got big poly jeans, bro. Those poly jeans. Poly they jeans. don't kick in right at birth. They don't kick in at birth. No, they. they I came out at the white jeans in me. The Norwegian. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know because Norwegian too. So. Yeah, Norwegians are big. Norwegians are big. So I'm a island Viking. Hey, that's my nice. Sick. That should be Instagram. The Island Viking. The Island. That's actually don't pretty steal sad. that if you're listening to this. <laughs> if, you, if you're also the same mix as me, how dare you? If you steal that. How dare you consider that? <laughs> or Viking Island. I always, it's funny because like I always, because you know how like things are just like in your genetics. Like people are like, oh, it's in your genes to be this way. That's how I feel about that because like it's not that I'm just like, oh, like an Islander. Like it's like I'm. Like Norwegians were Vikings, yeah. so it's like I have like war in my blood. You know what I mean? You're extra it's savage. in my blood to be uh, just like animalistic. You're an extra savage. Extra savage, bro. Extra. I am literally the motto of super size savage. Super. That's a dope. Don't steal that one that's either. Do- <laughs> Don't steal any of these <laughs> usernames, dude. Super size savage is sick. That's got to be one. That, I'm sure it is. I'm gonna look it up real quick. I'm that, has, that has to be one. Super size savage, but like with a nickname like that, though, you have to be a savage. Like, you can't just be like Joe Blow over at 24 Hour Fitness, like lifting the bar. I know, like, you have to. I feel like I'm not quite that savage yet. Not that I'm oh, weak, it's open. It is, don't fucking steal that, people. Dude, should I change my shit right now? I think you should, or at least when we get done with the podcast, okay. I fucks with that heavily. Super size savage. Yeah, there's you. It's fuck, pretty tight. Dude. I fucks with it. Fucks that with may it. or may not be Jeremy's Instagram name by the next time. So if you see a post by Super Size Savage, that is me. Don't hit that unfollow. Don't just unfollow. realize that's Jeremy. Actually, actually, if you can refollow, if you're not, if you unfollowed me before, follow me again. I feel like if they unfollowed you already, they're not listening. They're just like, mm. Mm. that's true. If you know someone who unfollowed me. Yeah. Reach out. Let them know. <laughs> Tell them Jer- like, Jeremy's relaunching himself. Be like, Jay's a different man. He's super sized savage. <laughs> He's super sized now. now. Go ahead and not in a fat way. Maybe in a fat way. I don't know. I don't think really. But I, I mean, you might not. You, the pregnancy's early, so you might put on some, you know, sympathy weight. Uh, I did. I've already put on sympathy weight when I found out. As soon as I found out, I was like, mm, I'm craving everything Is not that good. what happened in October? Yeah, dude. That's when we found out. <laughs> I know, but I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, uh, yeah, dude. I, f- I found out she was pregnant, and she she doesn't have um, much of an appetite right now. You know, I couldn't imagine her trying to eat without throwing up. Like, I could see how that would be really hard. But me, I eat everything. Well, so dieting has been hard. Th- this month hasn't been too bad, but October was really hard. Surrounded by candy. Just found out I'm going to be a dad. I got to eat for my girl. You know what I mean. And then I started. I looked at myself in the mirror, and I had put like 15 pounds back on. And I'm like, ugh, I hate myself. Yeah, it's funny how that happens, <gasps> dude. It's funny how the bulk just like it adds up quick. Yeah, like I'm up almost 15 pounds since like two, like halfway through October. Jesus. Like I was like 235, and then I went away for a week to the ranch, and then I went to Vegas, came back, and then like the last couple of weeks, I've kind of. Maybe got it under control, but I was like 250 at a point. 
That's so rad, dude. It's That's cool, bad. but it's like you start seeing the abs like not as much, yeah. and then you stop seeing like the bicep veins as much, and I'm like, I just I don't saw know how I feel about this. Jameson just stopped by uh, the gym yesterday, talked to him for like an hour, and uh, he's 308 right now. <laughs> I was like, fuck, oh, dude. <laughs> I was like, how does that feel? He's like, oh, I can feel it. He's like, I feel it when I walk. Like, it's just like a lot of weight. I'm like, no shit. 300. I mean, I've been 310 before, and I remember how uncomfortable that was for me, but I'm taller than Jameson. Yeah. So six foot 310 isn't as bad as like 5'9, 310. Damn, you're, you're, that's savage of you to call Jameson 5'9. 5'10. I'm taller than him. Are you that much taller than him, really, though? I feel like you guys are like know. the same height. That's just a poly thing, I think. I think I think I think you're just shortchanging my dude. Jameson's about to be hella pissed if he when he listens to this. Jameson, I don't know how tall you are, bro. Apparently you're shorter than Jeremy though. I, you are shorter than me. I am taller than you. Hmm. Well, he's gonna be super pissed because I don't think he is. I don't, or at least he doesn't think he's shorter. Maybe than he's five ten. Anyway. <sighs> two inches shorter. That's two inches, bro. Two inches is a lot. It is. Yeah. <laughs> Five inches to seven inches. Think about that. <laughs> Let's not get carried away. That's just a big difference. <laughs> so, have you guys thought of names? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was, we found we found a boy name very quick. Yeah. Uh, for, for boy names, I wanted nothing less than something that, that uh, was very strong sounding. And, and masculine. Super size savage. And so super size is the first. Middle name is savage. New is the last. And Noah. Uh, for the boy name, we decided that his name would be Kingston Malosi New. And Malosi is, is uh, Samoan for, for strength. So, and Kingston is fucking dope. So, plus I could, I could call my boy King. King Malosi. That shit is savage as it gets. That's his, that's his Instagram username when he gets older. That sounds like. That shit is dope. And if he's a rapper, there you go. He's set up for if he's all, anything. all he world. Could be, he could be an actor. King Melosi. All success is that name. Yeah. But for a girl, uh, we will name her Macy J. M A Y C E E. And then her middle name is J J A E. New. And uh, that right there sounds like a fucking troublemaker. I could just see myself. Macy J. Yes, dad. MJ. MJ. Eh, well, that's not as cool. Ah, kind of. Michael Jackson's the king of pop. Yeah. Not what you're going for, but... Not what I'm going for. The queen of pop, maybe. Who MJ, knows? get your ass over But Macy, man, that that's a very pretty, you know, yeah, elegant sounding like name. It. So uh, that's what we decided. And uh, girl names was really tough, man. That was so hard because I'm like, I want something beautiful sounding, something that like, you know, very feminine. And... Uh, Kai wanted the same thing, and it's it's hard because it's like Kai gets a huge say in like you know the female's name. Yeah, she's a woman. She has she she knows what sounds better than than what I would know. You know, and we went through a lot of names. I don't even remember. I've been stuck. We've been stuck on Macy for a while now, so I have no idea what the other names were. Yeah, but yeah, Macy J or Kingston Malosi. It's a big. It's a big decision. Huge. You could easily fuck it up and just for sure. Just ruin your kid. Yeah, like like ABCD. Yeah. What was that? Yeah. What was her name? Abs- oh my god! <laughs> it makes me so angry. Abs- I don't know. Abs- I don't know if people listen to this. I talked about it on my Instagram the other day, but there's a a lady, and she has a child, and <laughs> they were boarding an airline. Uh, I think it was Southwest, and apparently when the ticket agent saw the ID for the child they started laughing and showed a friend and apparently they took a picture of it and shared it on social media anyway they maybe went a little bit far but the mom filed a complaint with Southwest because they were laughing at her name and making fun of the kid but the kid's name literally is spelled A B C D E A B C D E (laughs) that was What's his fucking middle name? <laughs> F G H. <laughs> like that's like no, no. You wanna, you wanna. This is this is what really pissed me off. Guess how you pronounce this name? Absidy. 
Ab City. Brack City. Bitch. Fuck. Oh my god, it made me so it Ab made City. me angry. That's so upsetting. What a way to teach your kids the first couple letters in the ABCs. Well, first off, your kid's fucked. Yeah, for sure. Your kid is made fun of <laughs> forever. Imagine filling out an application form. First name, A B C D E. <laughs> Someone hands it back to you like this isn't how you spell. You're like, no, not the alphabet. Yeah, What's your name? We sweetie? need your actual stop playing around. We need an actual name. Jesus. Oh my god. How whack. Well, you just totally fucked your kid. Like, kids are mean as fuck. Kids oh, are dude. kids are ruthless. If I showed up in like kindergarten and was like, "My name's Absidy," everyone go write your name on the board. <laughs> You're getting made fun. Of. You can't not laugh at that. Like, there's no way to not laugh at. That. I don't even know her, and I'm laughing. And I like, I feel bad. But I feel it's bad not for the, that. It's not the. Kid's I feel fault. bad for the kid. Yeah, no, the, the mom is a fucking idiot how dare you name your child <laughs> how dare it's you? it's not even absidy's cool but how dare you spell it a b c d e it doesn't make any sense how You're... you spell it a b c d e where is freaking child protective services yeah. bro <laughs> take the kid take the kid we away we need child name protective services up in that there should... dude Jeez. that needs to be a thing child name protection there's some <laughs> stupid ass names but i think that's the stupidest name i've ever heard Absolutely. Made even more absurd by the fact that you're going to get upset that somebody makes fun of your kid. What do you Or expect? laughs at that. Like, there's no way you can take that person. That's like saying, oh, yeah, my kid's name is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Dude, there were. Twitter, and it's pronounced Twitter. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. stupid, dude. God. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Dude, Twitter went hard apparently on her. Like I they just it. roasted the mom. I bet that thread was absolutely savage. Oh, God. I think some. I think I read one of, in the article. I read they quoted some of the tweets, and like one of them was like, "I call dibs on one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Jeez, that's like naming your kid rock, paper, scissors. Fucking a, bro. At least with that though, rock. You get rock or like, paper or paper, 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 scissors. Skizzer. Skizzy. You could call him Skizzy. Hey, Skizzy. That sounds tight. Skizzy sounds... Skizzy rock. Skizzy sounds like he doesn't make great life decisions. Mm. Rock is dope. Rock is dope. I mean, you can't go wrong. The Rock. Yeah. I have a buddy. His name is Rocky. And uh, Chrissy's like, is that short for anything? He's like, nope, it's just Rocky. <laughs> so, <laughs> I actually know a, a freaking adorable little little kid his name is. Rocky, yeah, he's freaking cute. He's like half Asian and half white, and he's like super duper white with like blonde hair, but like has these little Asian eyes. And he's freaking chunky. He's adorable, dude. He's the best. And his brother Rylus, even chunkier. Ugh, great kids. But his name's Rocky. That's it. Because his dad's name is Rocky. I think uh, uh, that's a, that's a that's a cool name. That kid is badass. Yeah, dude. Can't say the same for Epsidy. N- nope. Absidy is a cool name, yeah. but I mean, like it's in, it's unique. You have to spell it differently. Though. Yeah, you can't spell it that way. I would have spelled it like A B B C I T Y. Absidy, baby. Absidy, yo. <laughs> that would have been better than that's like a gym it. right there. Absidy, Absidy, bro. That's like a section of the gym. Yeah, bro. I'm taking notes for this. <laughs> oh, when we open the gym, that's <laughs> Ab City, bro. This is Ab City over here. Nothing but six packs. Yeah. In all forms. Hey now. Hey now. Yeah. But yeah. Absidy. Public service announcement. Don't name your kid stupid shit. Like just Or just at least be- don't spell your child's name A B fucking C D E. I do I do get annoyed when I s- I don't, and it's it's stupid and silly. Like, why are you getting annoyed, James? But I get annoyed when I see somebody spell their name like in a ridiculous way. I forget what I saw. I saw one the other day, and it was like, oh, why, why, why would you spell it like that? I get trying to be. The problem is, you know, there's too many people, and everyone you know has the same name, and you mm-hmm. want to be a little different. But like, now there's plenty of Jeremys out there. It sucks. There's a lot of Jameses. Ah, there's not more Jameses than Jeremys. There's a, but like. I don't know. That'd be like somebody spelling James like J A Y M E S or some Ooh. shit. James. James. 
Like that makes me like angry. Like Forrest Gump saying your name. Yeah. That makes me angry. Yeah. Yeah. Or J A I E M S. James. James. <laughs> that like gave me an aneurysm. I know. I Just saw the, about I saw the eye spas. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was like comprehending like what like what? But it, it's a, probably out there. Oh, dude, if we searched Instagram, that's a name. Well, like there's like a Jaime, which is like yeah. J A I M E. I'm okay with that. Weird. Heine. I'm okay with, I'm okay with Sounds that. Sounds like Heine. <laughs> That's not a cool name. Well, if you say it like that, Heine. But it's like high knee. <laughs> high knees. <laughs> Everything translates to fitness, you guys. Ab City, high knees. Ab City, high knees. <sighs> Man. How about your boy 6'9? Bro, 24. 24 years. Did he get sentenced? I'm pretty sure he got 24 years. Did he really? Yeah, 24 years for like racketeering and and whatever. The last time but, I checked, he hadn't been sentenced. They were talking about he might get life. Well, I think 24 to life is the, or it's 25 to life. I think, huh? He could 25 to life. The the you know what though, bro? Is 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 uh, Takashi will sh- will serve his 24, and he'll come out, and he'll be like not even 40 years old, bro. How old is he right He's now? He's like 20-something years old. Oh, so he'll be 40-something. Yeah. I'm an idiot. I am a stupid dummy. Apparently, while he was in jail, he bought his girlfriend a 35G Rolex. That's nothing to him, bro. Trey Trey He just dropped a new album. Yeah, he dropped an album. And it. Rob downloaded the whole thing, and I haven't heard if it's fire or not, but I will be listening to it today. I downloaded it. Last night, I think. Is it but fire? I haven't, I haven't listened. Is to it, it the one with stupid on it? I'm yeah. assuming stupid's on there. Yeah. Bitch, I'm still late. Dude, his fire. You know what? Like, I know you guys are. A lot of you guys are probably like haters on like, you know, new age rap and stuff like that. And and uh, I am too, to a degree. But if you listen to it from an entertainment purpose, Six Nine is one of the most motherfucking entertaining guys out there. From from his looks to his to his music. He's just very entertain. He's an entertainer, and a lot of these, you know, new age rappers, that's what they talk about more than anything is being entertainers and not so much uh, uh, artists. Yeah. Which whatever to each his own. I. If you want real rap, listen to. I'm some not like shit. a super fan of his. I like I, I like I like, I like some of his, of his stuff when I'm like working out because. I mean, he's it's just very yelling. Think, yeah. It's very aggressive, and yeah. so it's cool to work out with. But like. I'm not gonna be just like rolling down the street listening to some six nine. Yeah, it doesn't like super make sense unless you're rolling down the street with your boys on the way to the club. Yeah, six nine is some dope pregame club music. I can, I can see that. Throwback to San Diego when we first found out about it. Oh yeah, yeah, but yeah, no. I mean, he's not necessarily my like go to, but. I don't mind it. I don't mind him as much as yeah. some of like the mumble rappers. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Dude, I just I just heard this song that's absolute fire. Um, it's called "Do Not Disturb," and uh, it's by Smoke Perp or Little Little Smoke Perp. Little Smoke Perp or Perp Little Smoke. I don't know. Smoke Perp, I think, is his name. It's something in in but there. Is Smoke. It's Perp. featuring Lil Yachty and Offset. And all three verses are fucking flames. Even Lil Yachty's verse is dope. And the beat's hard. It's sick. Check it out. Well, we know your obsession with Offset. So, Just the fact that he is probably the best. You know what, though? So <clears throat> I listened to Last Takeoff, which or Last Rocket by Takeoff. And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, you know uh, somebody's listening to this like what the fuck are they talking about? <laughs> I listened to Last Rocket, which is Takeoff's new album. If you don't know who Takeoff if Takeoff is, he's one of the Migos. If you don't know who Migos are, you suck. You don't, so, mess, you don't suck. Jeremy, you don't suck. Jeremy's overreacting. Migos are dope. Anyways, so and it's pretty fucking good. Like I like it. I would say I probably like it more than than Quavo Huncho. Also, um, not a made up word. Like, if you don't know who that is, Jeremy's, yeah, Quavo, Jeremy's not making up words right yeah, now. No, these are rappers. These are actual people. But Quavo Huncho is the name of the album. Quavo is the artist. But it's Takeoff is actually very, like, lyrical. And he's got really great flows. And he's just dope. 
So it's like a it's like a battle between like offset and takeoff. I would say offset has way better hooks than takeoff, and and offset is for sure like the star of features. Like if you're gonna feature Amigo, the chances of you featuring offset are way higher than Quavo or Takeoff. Not that they suck, but Quavo does the best courses though. I'm trying to think. I always get them confused. Offsets, you know, no. offset, offset. Takeoff is takeoff, <laughs> and Quavo is. Quavo is the one that put out Quavo's. the album recently that everyone like hated. Everyone yeah. hated. Yep. Yeah. Because he just repeats himself. Like, yeah. Right? I listened to a little bit of it. And I was like, eh, there's a there's a song that's like keep that shit or something like that, and it's just like the chorus is like keep that shit, keep that shit over there, keep that shit, keep that shit over there. for like ten minutes. It's it's bad, but not all the songs are bad. There's some cool songs on there. Bubblegum's dope. How about that? Is dope. I have to I have to relook at it. Biggest alley oop is dope. That's probably my favorite favorite one besides how about that? Fuck twelve isn't terrible because offsets versus fire. Offset? Offset. <laughs> Every time I hear offset or the woo 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 <laughs> You know the best verse of the song is coming up when you hear that. Offset. Yeah. Migos are dope, dude. Migos. Shout out to Migos. Yeah, shout Migos out. are always welcome on not for the week. <laughs> Anytime. Yeah. Anytime. For yeah, anytime. All three of you. All three of you. It'd be sick. We're just talking. You go, all set. <laughs> you know? They're dope. I just watched them on. Uh, I just watched them on. Uh, have you ever watched the Carpool Karaoke with James Gordon or whatever? Oh, James Gordon's the man. Not only is he the man, but Migos in, in that episode was fucking hilarious, dude. Yeah. You know that song Sweet Caroline? Oh, yeah. They remixed it to like Migos standards. Were they ad-libbing? They like ad-libbed it. Yeah, That's it was awesome. It was I have to check that out. Funny. James Gordon's awesome. And like those carpool karaoke's, it's crazy. Like, I don't know. Like that's kind of what made me like, like like Justin Bieber. Like yeah. he was in there. I think he's done it a couple times, maybe. But I was like, dude, he's actually he's actually a cool, dude. Yeah, like, it like it like it's the perfect opportunity for like people to get to know who like artists are behind being dope. Well, it's, it's the same thing as like those po- like doing a podcast. Like, yeah, you exactly. get to learn more about the person instead of just seeing a snapshot or listening to a song or seeing what you s- see in the media. Like you actually get to know who these people are. It's kind of cool, and I don't know. I hated. I used to hate on Justin Bieber back in the day, like when Baby came out or whatever. His, yeah, his first, that was. He sounded like a like a female. Well, he sounded like. A, I for sure thought he, it was a girl when I first heard that song. I was like, "Oh, who's this girl?" And someone was like, "Oh, it's Justin Bieber." I was like, "Who's that?" Justine Bieber. I was. You mean Justine Bieber? <laughs> he did have a really high high voice, it was but he was like, but 10. he was young, dude. Yeah. He had to have been like that. The homie Usher knew, bro. He saw gold in him. I wonder how much Usher made off of Bieber. Probably tons. Whatever happened. Usher, I feel like Usher hasn't been out in a while. He needs to make a comeback, bro. You know who needs to make a comeback? Usher and Neo. Neo's still killing it. Neo does like movies. Nelly everywhere. needs to make a comeback. Bro, don't get me started on Nelly. Didn't you go to that Nelly concert? Bro, and- I didn't go to a Nelly. So, <laughs> let's see. I think it was last year. Last October. Um. Uh, there was a concert and I, I was like, oh, oh, I think I, I think I bought the tickets for Chrissy. I was like, it was like Florida Georgia Line was up in like Seattle or what or somewhere around there. And I was like, oh, like I like most of their stuff. Like I'm not like a massive Florida Georgia Line fan, but mm-hmm. I don't, like it's they make some catchy stuff. So I was like, that'd be cool. And then I saw Nelly underneath. I was like, yes, yes, because Nell, Nelly's like high school, like eighth grade, like that was. The soundtrack, like Country Grammar and uh, Nellyville, those oh, CDs dude. were on repeat, like twenty four seven. And so I was like, "Fuck yeah, I'm going there!" So I bought the tickets, thinking that we were going to go see Florida Georgia Line and Nelly. And then the <laughs> day, Florida, the Line. day before <laughs> the concert, Nelly got arrested for supposedly raping a girl on his tour bus. Sorry. But it ended up being. Like bogus, like she just, she was just, you know, trying to, trying to make a buck. Yes. So Nelly got arrested the day before, and so he missed the concert. And so I was sitting there, like, literally didn't know, didn't even know he got arrested. We were like walking into the venue, and I just hear people, "Yeah, Nelly's not gonna be here." I was like, eh, "What? 
Pump the brakes real quick. Checked it. Nelly wasn't there. So I was sitting there, angry. Kaya went to a Nelly concert. It's like one of her favorite artists. Besides Nelly's Anna. the fucking man, dude. He's the man, dude. I fucks with Nelly. I just listen to Nelly in the car. Like, Bro, I still listen to Nelly. I still rock dude, Nellyville. I fucks with Nelly. I, yeah, I'm about to put some Nelly on, on uh, my playlist for the gym. I don't know if I have Bless the world. Nelly on the playlist. Nellyville. That I I ran through that. C- I I think I broke that CD because I listened to it so much. <sighs> Shout out to the Saint Lunatics. They never should have broken up or yeah. like gone off on their own. Like I remember like Murphy Lee did his own thing for a little bit, and then who's the other dude? They all had like moderate success, but like never as good as they were when they were the Saint Lunatics. Well, it's the same thing with like D twelve. Who? <laughs> no, when they Ooh. broke, when they broke up, you'd see like random features like with Bazaar. You're like Bazaar still does music, but Eminem dude was the star of D12, I think, and and obviously when they went their own way, M uh, got even bigger than he already was before D12 even was formed. Yeah, but he talked about it's that. Like, it's In like Kamikaze. Justin, he talked about that though. It's like Justin Timberlake. Yeah, dude, bro. What the rest of those dudes? Nope. Cream cream rises to the top, man. Like you, like I could not even name any of the members of D12 besides Eminem. Bizarre, bro. Yeah, you say that, but that doesn't like I don't I can't imagine even what that dude looks like. I just, when I think of D12, Fat, I think of Eminem guy. and dudes. <laughs> and dudes. No, I that's agree. It, that's maybe basically what the name of the band should be. Yeah, Eminem and, and some dudes. Eminem and random dudes that are interchangeable and. Sounds don't kinda, really they sounds, sound cool but honestly that sounds like a weird like thing Eminem and interchangeable dudes <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a fetish right there yeah, Eminem, sounds, Eminem's and interchangeable dudes <laughs> ooh, I'll pass I think you think I, I that's will, a hard pass I'll, for I'll, me hundred percent <laughs> pass oh man what else is going on in the news let's see Barstool always has good Barstool stuff. always has some good stuff Dude, the banana bread. The banana bread, though. <laughs> There's this fucking video that's hilarious to me and to everyone else, hopefully. That Mooney posted, and it's this dude who's like talking about banana bread. We need to listen to that. Yeah, we'll pull that up. We'll pull it up for you guys so you guys can listen to it. It's the best thing in the world. A banana bread, though. Dude, I got some fucking banana bread at work today, dude. Hell yeah. <laughs> My mom told me if I wait for things, like, good things will happen to me, dude. And fucking, I waited for some things, and I got some banana bread at work today, dude. Hell yeah. (laughs) So it just goes to show that waiting for things is, like, worth it. But there's a lot of bad things in this world, dude. Like fucking skunks, dude. Hell no. Scratching your eye, but it's still fucking itchy, dude. Hell no. The fucking cubs, dude. Hell no. Like getting paid not a lot of money, dude, for fucking working. Hell no. But banana bread, I fucking work, dude. Hell yeah. Hell (laughs) yeah, bro. Hell yeah. Banana bread, bro. I hell fucking work, dude. Hell yeah. Oh, my goodness. Basically the best video on the internet right now. We can only hope. To ever be as excited about something as that man is about, but who is that man? I don't know. There, I was looking so hard to try to see if like somebody was going to tag him or something. But oh, we need to get him on the need podcast. to get him on the podcast. I, would, I need to get him just to film like an intro for us because like that got me hyped. I'll be like, not for the week. Huh? Hell yeah, <laughs> dude, that dude is sick. But but not for the week though. Hell yeah. Listen here, banana bread man. Wherever you are, if somehow you stumble across this podcast, we would like to have you as a guest on our show. Dude, if his Instagram name is not Banana Bread Man, Dude, there, the you world, know something is wrong with the you world. You know you change your name to Banana Bread Man after you, Dude, your video goes viral. But Banana Bread? That dude probably actually has like a solid social media standing. No, because you know nobody knows who he is and nobody tagged him. Comment and be like, who is this man? Banana Bread Man, reach out to us. Yes. If you guys know who that is, for sure leave it in the comments or DM us or something. Please. Because that dude is awesome. He needs. And I want to I wanna be half as excited about 
anything. Yeah. As he it's is. It's all about the small victories, you guys. Banana bread, you know? At work? Hell yeah. Banana bread at work, though? At work, bro. That's a fucking come up. He basically is like as excited as all of us get when like like a coworker brings like pie or something. You're just waiting for lunch so you can go eat all of it. Bro, I used to work at Rite Aid and we used to have this lady who would bring us like beer bread. Ooh. Yeah. And uh like fucking like two whole loaves. And I would go back there on my lunch and just like eat a whole loaf of beer bread. Just totally, totally didn't care. Dude. When I, I worked at this this club, this like health club, mm-hmm. and literally, I worked at this club, and I would say at least sixty percent of the people that worked there did not care about fitness or nutrition. Tight. And seems uh, like a legit place. I think we worked there together. Oh <laughs> at, shit! At one point, anyway, <laughs> literally every single day it seemed like we would go. I would go into the break room and there were donuts or yeah, cake yeah. or some other bullshit. Yes. And I was prepping for a show and I was just like, oh, sick. I'm going to go eat my tilapia and rice with mustard <laughs> while I stare at this donut next to the microwave. You know who wasn't prepping for a show who ate those donuts by the microwave? That this guy, guy. That fucking guy. I was prepping my own food though, but it was like not... I mean, I was prepping my food, but I wasn't. I was. I really was just prepping leftovers that my mom made, like barbecue chicken and rice. You're making effort, though, huh? You're making an effort. Though. Oh, but I mean, it was. A, it's not like you're just. It was large portions, not like. But even then, it's not like you're eating like a fucking hungry man dinner or like yeah, yeah. stofers. Like, dude, sometimes people would come in there and heat up their food, and I was just like, "That's what you're eating, Jesus! That's not at all like." <laughs> like leftover dominoes yeah what dude let you don't heat up leftover dominoes. oh trust me. i don't care who you are you don't put the pizza in the microwave oh for sure you eat that shit cold like in a normal person yes you know what tastes better cold actually hmm. uh little caesar's little caesar's pizza tastes <sighs> way better cold than it does fresh because at least you know you're going to eat cardboard. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's not hard and cardboard. And it's not hard cardboard. It's almost like it's almost like it becomes less hard I know. as it sits out longer. All I'm saying is I'd rather eat cold cardboard than warm cardboard. Some lukewarm cardboard. Yes. Like when you buy the Little Caesars pizza and then you like sit it on the counter or whatever and like you come back to it in like two hours. Dude. It's always nice when you get pizza and then like you leave it out on the counter and someone's like, oh, I forgot to put the pizza in the fridge. You're like, no problem. <laughs> Say less, bro. Say less. <laughs> Say no more. I am on it. As in I'm going to eat it. Not I'm going to put it in the fridge for you. No, I'm going to eat that shit. Yeah, for sure. You know what's actually we used to do is we used to put the pizza box into the oven. My so, mom does that. Yeah. Overnight. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if that does anything. I don't know. But for some reason, I was like, yeah, that's it's still good. Like, you can leave it out all night in the oven, and it's good. My mom does that with a lot of stuff. Yeah. I'm weird, though, because I won't. Like, if I leave my f- meat, like, like cooked meat out too long, I'm like, oh, I don't know if I can eat that. That's how I am. I'm weird, though. Like, but I never, like, leave my meat out. <laughs> it's always... <laughs> <laughs> There's no way to say that without. That's a quote, right? That's going. That's I never going. leave my meat out. <laughs> the meat stays in. I always wrap it up and I put it in. Well, well apparently not because. I mean, I am having future death. Right? <laughs> I wouldn't change it though. No, it's. We're gonna have a kick-ass kid. Yeah. It's good. It's gonna be cool. You're gonna have like a mini you. I know, dude. Dude, if it's a boy, it'll look literally exactly like me. I'm stoked because I look just like my dad. So that means if I have a kid, it'll look just like me because I have like very like dominant features about me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so uh, I just think that's how that's what will happen. But Kai also has like very distinct features about her, too. So I feel like our child's going to be extremely, you know, beautiful. I just hope that if it's a girl, it looks like her and not me. That's the last oh, thing we need for, is a female me. For the me. love of God, let us hope that it looks like Kaya. 
God, I feel so bad if it comes out with my brow and my fucking my big ass head. The ultrasound that kid had a big old head. So, all brain. It's gonna be a Gemini, and Gemini's are the smartest zodiac. So I'm pumped about that. Isn't it because they eat their twin in Mm. the womb? Could be. Yeah, that's I think that's the thing. That's what people think, right? Because Gemini's the the twin, right? That's the twin zodiac. I don't know anything about Zodiac. I could just be completely making that shit up out of nowhere. But I just know I'm a Taurus. Strong like bull. Strong like bull. Stubborn like one, too. I'm a Scorpio. Are you? You know Supposedly what Supposedly we're assholes. Yeah, but also uh, Scorpio's sexual drive is very high. Hey, now. So I hear. Hey, now. Yeah. I don't know what my girlfriend is. That's weird that you don't know that. Yeah, I don't know. I think she's like a Capricorn or something. Uh, July 3rd. Dude, I don't know. I don't know any or of that. January so. 3rd. I used to be super into Zodiac stuff. Because I was like... Oh, it's January, not July. January 3rd. It's her birthday. We'll edit that out so that <laughs> she does not hear that. She knows I'm really bad with birthdays. I don't, I'm da- I don't remember anyone's birthday except for my own. I don't know my mom's. I don't know my dad. I know my dad's. My dad's March 30th. You were like way off though. You were like seven months off. Well, I know, and she's gonna be twenty one very soon. Nice. She's not gonna be able to drink though. I know. She's like, she's like, you know, I'm gonna be twenty one, and I'm not even gonna be able to fucking enjoy it. I'm like, oh, you don't drink anyways. Though. Get her some non alcoholic beer. I guess O'Doul's. Some O'Doul. <laughs> she doesn't like beer, dude. She likes liquor. Get her some fake, like I don't know, fake alcohol. Sparkling cider and call it wine. Yeah, right. I got you sparkling wine. Love you. I bet you that would work if you're like, like told her that. It, I don't know. Actually, probably not. She knows she's not supposed to drink alcohol, so she probably wouldn't drink it. But if you were no, told she her, wouldn't. If you told her that it was, alcohol. she gets like, she she's like, you know, she's like, you're lucky you get to drink, and I can't. I'm like, yeah, well, even if you were pregnant, you couldn't technically because you're not told. <laughs> you're not a rebel like me. Remember your 21st birthday? Part of it, yeah. <laughs> my 21st birthday was lit. I got to celebrate my 21st birthday in San Diego. Yeah. With a bunch of my boys. With a, was, with a bunch of homies. It was, it was a good time. Jay woke up face first on a bathroom yeah, I woke in the up, middle of San Diego. Downtown yeah, San Diego. Yeah, I woke, up, I woke up in a loft apartment far from where the me and the guys were staying on the bathroom floor and I like woke up and I was like where the fuck am I and then I like looked in the mirror and I was like oh god <laughs> I'm not in our bathroom <laughs> where and I like we were this, we went to this dude's house to pregame we pregamed at our place and then we went to this dude's like Mooney's buddy's loft and pregamed more there and so like by the time I went to the bar I was like already like pretty buzzed like on the like edge of being actually just drunk <laughs> And then we went to Coyote Ugly. Yeah. Or what's it called? Wild I, think, Coyote. I think it was Coyote. Coyote, Coyote Ugly, yeah. Maybe. Which which I drank tons and tons of, of alcohol and was force-fed drinks. And then we went to... And then you wrote a bowl. And then I wrote... But what one was that? So the, the bar that. that we went to after that wasn't the bull riding one, was it? Yeah, it was. And then we finished that. It was? Yeah. Oh, wasn't that called like Double Deuces? I have no idea. Dude. We went to this bar where like it was like country themed down below. And then up top was like T-Pain and, and just like dope shit. Like total like club music. And I wrote a bowl. And uh, then you didn't we, write it very well. I didn't write no, it very well. Yes. And then we went to like this nightclub bar where I drank Rob's Adios Motherfucker. And you said adios. And, I, and then I don't remember anything after that at all. Nothing. I remember you were throwing up, and you're too damn big for us to carry. And so Rob and I were like, we'll just leave him here. Yeah, fucked up, isn't that? There, I you don't know, know if that's fucked up. Dude. You know what? You're a hybrid athlete. You were <laughs> not as thin as you are now. You were. Oh, I was heavy. You were bigger. I was like 265. You might have been bigger than that. 275. You might have been like 280. I don't know, dude. But yeah, you were... You're a big guy. Um, Rob and I were also intoxicated. Yes. And you were completely dead weight. So there's zero chance of us carrying you up any stairs. So we're just like, "Eh, that's good.
Yeah, that would have been a shit show. Yeah. So yeah, we just left you there. I remember calling you the next day, like, dude, where you at? We gotta be at the expo. In like no, yeah. So that's the only reason I woke up. I woke up because my I felt my phone vibrating, so I like opened my eyes, and I remember I answered the phone. I was like, hello, and Moon was like, dude, where are you? And I was like. Oh no, dude! <laughs> it was so <laughs> fucking like it was like seven in the morning, and we had to like be at the expo like now. And I like looked, I like I was like, oh shit, I'm at that loft, and I had to Uber. And I remember I I got in the Uber, and the dude was like laughing. And I was like, yep, yep. it's one of those nights. <laughs> he's probably so used to. It. He's like, look at this guy. I felt so shitty at the expo, dude. Oh, oh my yeah. god! If it wasn't for those RX bars and water. I'd be dead. And I think I had like a greasy hamburger too. Oh, God. Dude, we, when we went out a couple of weeks ago, that was, I think it was like two weeks ago, you and I and like some other guys went out. Yeah. And like I can usually drink quite a bit without feeling terrible the next day. Yeah. But I felt so bad. Dude, the I, next day. so like it was frustrating because we went out to the first place like Howie's or whatever. And I was like drinking and I was like, God damn it, I'm not drunk yet. And it's very frustrating to me. <laughs> Because I've been drinking a lot. I had like a You're ton like, of... My budget's not set up for I'm this. I'm like, okay, Jay, be drunk now because I have to keep spending money until you get there. <laughs> and uh, Yeah, I had like five jello shots and like shots, like well, regular shots. Jello shots, dude. I know. What are you at? Fucking 19-year-old girl in college. Close. 21-year-old male. But um, yeah, and I wasn't drunk. And then we got to Bohemian and I was like, still not that drunk. But then... There was like st- that dude Nick or whatever his name was I was I think oh, I think his name was Nick. He got us those drinks that were super good and very high in alcohol. And then my boy Brian, who I bumped into, got me the same drink. And then I got the same drink again. And then I got like three other drinks and just like pounded them back to back. And then all of a sudden, I was like, "Yes, I'm yeah. drunk." Yeah. And I remember like stumbling down the stairs, and then we went to well, we went somewhere else. I don't remember. The that. problem with that is those drinks were super sugary. I remember those. And yeah. That is that what, is what I, First off, that's what fucks you up. And then second off, that's why you feel so trash. Oh, time. dude. I had such a fat dinner before I went out. Uh, I didn't like before that. I met up with you guys, I had like two waffles and like fucking like four eggs and like a cup of egg whites scrambled up with hella ketchup and like all the syrup and like sausage, dude. Sausage. 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 Dude, it was bomb. Yeah. Actually, I'm, I'm so hungry right now, dude. That, that made me really good. hungry. That was a really good dinner. I think we, we should go get some food. Yeah. Oh. Well, look at that. I think we should. It's time to go eat. <laughs> On that note, I think we need to go eat. Is that uh, the bonus episode? Yeah, so let's, let's just end it there. Okay. <laughs> Everyone, don't drink sugary drinks. And make sure you eat before you go out. Yes. And then... Listen to the last take. Work out so that you can carry your drunk friends. Yes. Who are dead weight. And if you can't carry your drunk friends, then you suck. If you can't carry your drunk friends, you're not working out enough. That's the lesson right there. Yep. Boom. Hit the gym. Work out. Do some carries. Get drunk. Uh, no. 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 Oh, just We're kidding. not promoting Listen to that. Migos. We're not. <laughs> listen to Migos. Don't necessarily get drunk. Don't listen to Jay. Bad influence. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Check out the last episode. Um, I'm not sure. We filmed these kind of out of order, so I'm not sure what the last episode is going to be. But, yeah, check it out. Yep. Now for the week. Make sure you leave a five-star review. Tell a friend. Check out gunsmithbrand.com for some fire. Yeah, and if you guys like random episodes like this, uh, you know, like kind of like little bonus episodes, and you and you think that we should start doing more episodes like this, we can, you know, let us make sure to let us know so that we, you know, we know because we can basically talk about nothing for an hour every single day. Yeah. So, and I think the goal is to eventually go to two episodes a week. Yeah. And so, like, one would be like a guest, and then maybe the second one would be like like this. Yeah. Where we're just bullshitting. Where it's kind of yeah. So talking about what's new and exciting and mm-hmm. yeah. So, but yeah. Make sure you guys subscribe at Not for the Week PC. Check out Jeremy at Jeremy New GC on all social media and then myself at James Money GC on all social media. Yeah. Good times. Yep. Yep. Awesome. Oh, talk to you guys next time.
stay safe, <laughs> stay savage, guys. <laughs>